What up, YouTube? It's Boy Rello. And, uh, I'm on vacation. I'm out here with my fiance. You know, a lot of that hard work paid off. We in, uh, at this resort in, uh, Oceanside, California. It's pretty nice, you guys gotta see. It's, uh, 6.30 in the morning. As you guys can see. We got a nice little ocean view. Yeah, you know, just want to show that view off to you guys. But I want to talk about something serious. And that's uh that's driver safety. Uh, last week, I did something foolish that could have cost me my life. I had an incident where I was driving. I was empty. I had no runs, no load, anything like that. And I was trying to make it home, but I was so tired. Instead of me pulling over to try to get some sleep or some rest. I figured, eh, you know, I can make it to the next town. Well, I did make it to the next town, but that shit's almost cost me my life. Basically, I was in a situation where it's three o'clock in the morning. I got like this fucking zit pimple right here. But it was like three o'clock in the morning and uh, I was at Iowa. I was headed back to Missouri. I think I was off 27 right before it turns to US 61 when you get into Missouri. And I'm driving and like I said, I'm, I'm tired. I dropped off the other day. Plus, I wasn't feeling good, but I was trying to hurry up and get back. I thought I could make it at least to like Hannibal, like give me some rest, but I pushed my body beyond its limits a couple of times. And I think this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh. When I was driving, you kind of like, you could feel yourself getting tired or whatever. I was like going in and out of it. I was like, one minute I was driving, I seen the road. The next minute I was like blacked out. And I wake back up and I'm on the other side of the fucking road. And I was like, you know what? I got to, I got to pull over. Uh, I'm like, all right, I'll do it at the next exit. Man, this shit is, forgive me. I'm just looking trash out here, but I gotta give I gotta give it to you guys raw. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm driving and I closed my eyes for the last time. I didn't even feel myself closing my eyes. I woke up, next thing you know, I just see all grass and medium. So, your first initial instincts is to like break. My nose stopped up too. But uh my first instance was to break, so I hit the brake. That didn't fucking do shit. I goes into the media. Now I'm just fucking riding through the grass to do 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 the fucking truck flies up. To do 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 all in the grass. Somehow, some way. I wound up on the other side of oncoming traffic. Now, thank God it was 3 o'clock in the morning, so it wasn't really no traffic. So I rolled the other side of the highway until I got to, like, the little medium where, like, the uh, highway patrol and police officers be sitting at. I just cut back over. And I got back on the phone with my uh, father-in-law 
and like my friends, and they're all like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you're crazy. You need to like pull it over and go to sleep. And that's what I did. And like when I woke up and I reflected on that shit, I was just like, man, I could have straight lost my life behind that, behind being foolish, behind being dumb. And I made sure to, wow, that's a fucking shark. Hey, Deshae. Bay. That's straight crazy. I, I just seen two of them. I wish y'all could have seen this. But, yeah, I just seen two sharks. That was crazy. But now I know. Anyway, uh, when I woke up and I reflected on it, I was like, that could have been it. Like, if this was like, if it was been like 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, when they had like some decent traffic, I, I could have been over it. Let alone, if it was a fucking cop behind me, my ass would have been going to jail or something. Like, I, it's just, it's, <sighs> basically what I'm trying to say, man, is not worth it. You know, like, I know we all want to make money. I know we are happy about being entrepreneurs and happy that we're in business and want to maximize our time and effort so we can, you know, grow our business and do nice things for our families and loved ones and, hell, even for ourselves. But we can't kill ourselves in the process of doing it. Because if something happens to us, who's going to take care of the family? You got to take care of yourself first and make sure you're okay, you're straight. Because if you're gone, what was it for? You know? Like, if something would have happened to me, I would have left my fiance with two kids to raise by herself. Yeah, sure, she would have got some money from, you know, my definite insurance policy and, and this and the third, but fuck, bro, money can't replace a father. I don't, I don't give a fuck how much money they give you. You can't replace the father figure. So, I just wanted to share that experience with you guys because that was my personal experience. Like, it wasn't worth it. But, I hope y'all got some good plans for this Labor Day. Barbecue and all that other good stuff. You see where I'm at. And, uh, I'll be back soon with another video. I got some big surprises coming up, too. But, uh, Sporello, catch you guys sooner. Later.